Hello there, and welcome back to Spud Plays Mass Effect. Last time, we set off to find Dr. Liara Tassoni. Uh, went on a bit of a detour. Came across a fresh moor. Died twice. And then came to this place, which seems to be giving off some weird weeding. Weird weedings? Weird readings, if I can get my words out. Um, whoop. And the Getha hit, so that's usually a sign that there's some major stuff going down. Case in point. As they fly overhead. What on earth? Okay there, Geth. Just want to glitch out on me a little bit more. We're not giving off the best first impression to uh, Rex and Garrus here. But we need to know what they signed up for. Speeding through the tunnel. What was that flying over there? Wow, is that how far that geth blew? <laughs> I hope you saw that as well, him flying off in the distance. Okay. That looks fairly promising. Should probably just check the mini map though, see what's what. Oh yeah. Off this way. Probably avoid all this bird of lava. Okay, yellow arrows on the minimap. Usually, I would say that's a good sign. Comms being jammed, also a good sign. Unless you live on Naboo, in which case it can only mean one thing invasion. Cheers, Garrett. When in doubt, whack out off the fish earlier. Um, you okay there, Jeff? Upbeat funky techno! Oh! What on earth? Ow! Okay, right. Uh, this might be the tool for the job. Shields down. Rex! literally just shot you in the back. What are you like?
Come on. Right, I swear to God, Rex, if you got a death wish. Those shields are going to get annoying. Still, but no match for droidicas. That's the second Phantom Menace reference in like the space of a minute. A sign of things to come? Most likely. Whoop. When in doubt, shoot the bad guys. going to be a battle where there's a cutscene. Right, we may need to upgrade here, Karen. What on earth? Bigger girl. All right, hey, good job, guys. Not now, Shepard. They were pissed him off. Not now, Shepard. Okie dokie. They don't want to talk. We have not made the best first impression on these two. Still a red triangle over here. Is that still a whoop? They were, they were shooting. Yeah, just because the music stops don't mean they're all dead. Thanks for confirming, Rex. But I'm new to this whole spectre lock, alright boys? You're just going to have to... Bear with me. seen a Bioshock. Welcome to Rapture. Oh yay! More guests. Whoop. It just me or is the pistol doing the best job out of all the guns here? I think 
while I think about it, I think it's time to uh, check that the boys are leveled up. See, I'm not really spending too long thinking about stuff here. We'll just give them some general level up. And it increases health. That's probably a good thing. And let's put three more in assault rifles. Oh, Garen's got uh, eight points as well. Let's go with. I think the assault rifle damage needs to be increased. That much is a given. Pistols and assault rifles, I think, uh, are going to be the main two. Next time round, we'll uh, focus on leveling up the sniper rifles. Just to have a bit more damage output. We need to maybe look at getting her some new armor as well. You know, the standard M7 stuff, military issue. Standard issue, military grade. That's the phrase I'm looking for. Now we're a Spectre, maybe we can get some of the uh, finer things in life. What do you think, boys? Well, thanks for sharing. Do like an elevator on uh, Mass Effect. Okay. Probably not a good tactic to be doing, just standing out in the open. to number two as we go down, down, deeper and down. Yeah, we don't need your life story here. Quit shouting! This place is crawling with Geth! Sorry, I am a little... Look, my name is Dr. Liara Tassoni. I am an archaeologist. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Well, that's easier said than done. There's a giant force field in front of us. How have you managed to do that? There's some kind of repulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. I mean, I'd slag her off a little bit and say... She's a bit dumb for getting herself in that situation. But we just died twice trying to fight a Threshamore. And stood out in the open as we lost our shields against a, a bit of Geth. Um, this Benezia... Now I think about her. Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. All right, don't need your family drama. There's some kind of repulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier. When I turned it oh, on, yeah, we I know that. hit something I wasn't oh, You did bring to. it on yourself, though. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. You shouldn't have been messing with technology you don't understand. I wasn't going to let the Geth capture me. Besides, I know how it works. Mostly. Clearly. There's a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Well, there's a Krogan with us. Do you not see him? Right. Gotta be careful of this Krogan. 
Well, do they know? We've just upgraded all our weaponry. Well, that worked. I think the pistol might be Karen's new go-to tool. sake. Right. Clear of hostiles. Perimeter secure. Okay, what do I do here? Well, that was lucky. I think I found my way in. I kind of want to see what's up here, though. You know, she was digging, she's an archaeologist, maybe there's some good swag up here. Hey, weapon locker. Quick bit of Simon Says. Which I suppose we should call Shepherd Says. We'll take up all this gear and uh, we'll dish it out when we're back on board the Normandy. Creepy ambient noises aside. Ooh, some nice water effects. Anyway. Oh goody, another lift. I mean, there's a part of Karen that just wants to leave oh, her here, but... How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. When in doubt, big gun equals hole. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. How we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously, he wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Well, let's crack on then. Joker, get the norm of the airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill him. Get in line, Rex. Now it's time to see how good Joker really is, if he can get us out of here. Just awkwardly staring into each other's eyes there, boys. Something you want to get off your chests? Nope, Gareth has just pulled a gun on him. Time to deal with this idiot. Charge! <sighs> I like your attitude. Well, that was fun. Let me take cover here, Shepard. Whoa!
Well, that was eventful. Looks like the Normandy's parked up well, though. Props to Joker. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? Yeah, not really the time. Sometimes Joker's a real ass. Just try to ignore him. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. 50? Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I mean, we know they went extinct. What's the point in wasting your time on it? I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Okay. Um, and you know this how? Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Okay, that's fascinating and all, but can we just kind of get to the point we've got a mission to, to solve here? Get to the point. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. I mean, well, I kind of know what happened. Just a Prothean beacon. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? Some weird funky visions and the fact that I saw it. There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Flattery will get you nowhere. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. 
So we went through all that, and you've got nothing for us. Looks like we wasted our time here. Wait, Commander. Seren might try another attempt on my life. I'd feel safer if you let me stay on your ship. Besides, my knowledge of the Protheans might prove useful later. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Okay, you can come. And we're not going to take the, uh, the Ashley approach here. You can come, but just keep your, your lectures about Protheans to a minimum a little bit. We're just on the clock. We've already got every other non-human species on board. Might as well add an Asari to the team. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Prothean's true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Yep, we're done. Go get checked over. Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yeah, I suppose we should check in with them. No, we are new to this Spectre Back to lock. Through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. This spar Sparatus or Sparatus or Asparagus guy. Don't tell me how to do my job. You are free to act properly as got it in for us. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. I don't need this. <laughs> Communications cut, Commander. We try to do something nice, reach out to the council. The Asari tried to gut us, but that asparagus guy, is what I will now be calling him, uh, was not too uh, supportive. I think that's going to conclude uh, this little session here. We uh, rescued Liara Tassoni, informed her about our visions. She told us about her theory about what came before. Happy fun times. Uh, join us back in next time where we will make a decision on whether or not we are going to A. Check out this geth interest about the council having received uh, reports on uh, Novaria. Or a geth attack. Either way we're going to be going to meet a, another geth. And I'm sure I'll find another famous Seth to rename them after. Yeah, join us back here next time. When we'll make that decision. See you then.